friend Sarah and draw a pizza restaurant. Yo, we hope you're gonna follow along with us. You need something to draw with. We're gonna use markers. You also need some paper and something to color with. Yeah, all right, let's start. Let's first draw the ground for our pizza restaurant. I'm gonna draw a line that goes across kind of towards the bottom of our paper. That's a good spot. Yeah, go all the way across. There you go. And then we're gonna draw a line Vertical line that goes up. This is a horizontal line, like the horizon. This is vertical. Then we're going to go up over here on the right side, too. Another vertical line. There we go. Now, at the top, let's connect those two lines. What's that line called again? Horizontal. Horizontal line, yeah. If they're going this way, that's horizontal. This way is vertical. All right, what shape do we have? A rectangle. Yeah, a rectangle. Now, let's draw. Right here, we're going to draw another line that goes across the top. Yeah, and then let's also draw bumpy lines like this. Look, it looks like waves. This is for the little covering that goes over the door so that if it's raining or if it's sunny outside, it blocks the rain or the sun. Now let's draw the door. I'm gonna draw two more vertical lines right next to each other, right in the middle of our building. Yeah. There you go. And then we're going to draw another line that connects the top. And what's that called again? A rectangle. Well, yeah, the whole thing is called a rectangle, <laughs> but what's that line called? A horizontal line. Yeah, horizontal line. Now let's draw a square next to our rectangle door. We're going to draw a line down, and then I'm going to draw the bottom of the square. And to draw a square, we want both of these lines to be equal. Then we're going to draw an upside down L to connect our square shape. Good job, it looks awesome. Let's also draw two lines right down the middle. We're gonna divide our window up. So two lines right next to each other, and then let's draw two lines, two horizontal lines going the other direction. So we got two vertical, two horizontal. Now we also are missing a doorknob. Let's draw a circle on our door. Yeah, we can also draw a smaller window in the door. Let's draw another square. So L shape with two equal lines, and then we're gonna draw an upside down L to complete it. Perfect. Let's also draw a really skinny rectangle right here underneath the window. This is for the window seal. We're gonna draw another long line at the bottom, another horizontal line. Okay, it looks like a really cool building, but how do we know that it's selling pizza? We need a pizza sign. Yeah, we do. <laughs> Let's draw another rectangle. We're gonna draw two more vertical lines going up. Two vertical lines, one over here on the left and also on the right. Okay, and then a horizontal line that goes across the top. That's a rectangle shape, right? Mm -hmm. Let's write the word pizza. Okay. We're first gonna draw a Z right in the middle of our sign. I know that sounds weird because usually we start with the first letter. Yeah. But because we're doing art, we're gonna try to make the word equal on both sides. So on this side, we're gonna draw another Z next to it and an A. Yeah. Then on this side, we're gonna draw the letter I and a P. Does that make sense? Yeah. We don't have all the letters bunched up on one side. That's supposed to make it equal on both sides. Yeah. All right, now let's also draw a pizza on top of our building. So I'm gonna draw a curve that comes up like this. <laughs> And we're going to draw a slice of pizza. And then we're going to draw a diagonal line that comes back down. Let's also add crust on our pizza. <laughs> and we could also add cheese or pizza sauce, so a wiggly line. And then let's also add pepperonis. Got to have pepperonis, right? Yeah. Even though we like cheese pizza too. I'm going to draw a circle, a small circle. We could also draw a half circle so it looks like the pepperoni is cut in half. I'm gonna draw another half circle down here and maybe a quarter of a circle at the bottom. All right, Austin, it looks more like a pizza restaurant, but let's do one more thing. Let's add a table for our customers on the outside. Yeah. Sometimes it's fun to eat outside, right? Mm -hmm. Let's draw another rectangle. Well, if it's not raining. Yeah, true. <laughs> Two little vertical lines and then we're gonna draw two horizontal lines for the top and bottom of our table. Then let's draw two vertical lines 
coming down and connecting to the floor or the ground. And then we could draw our chair. I'm just gonna draw a line that comes straight down like this, all the way to the ground. And then we're gonna draw an upside, oh yeah, you can draw all the way down to the ground and connect. And then we're gonna draw an upside down L for the rest of the chair. Oh, let's do one more horizontal line for our chair seat. All right, let's repeat those same steps over here for another chair on the other side. Line down, upside down L for the rest of the chair. Oh, and you wanna connect it to the ground so it's not <laughs> floating. <laughs> and then let's draw one more horizontal line for the bottom of the chair. Hey, that looks really cool, uh, except I think we need an umbrella. Let's add a line going up. And then let's draw a, another horizontal line. So we got a vertical line, horizontal line. We're repeating those words a lot. Yeah. That's so our art friends can remember which one's which. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so now let's draw a half circle or a rainbow line going over the top of our umbrella. All right, let's divide up our umbrella. We'll draw a line down the middle. And then let's draw a curve on the right and a curve on, well, sorry, curve on the left and then a curve on the right. Awesome, we did it. We finished drawing our pizza restaurant. It looks really cool, except it's gonna look even better once we do something else. What should we do? Color it. Yeah, let's add color. This part we're gonna fast forward, but at the end, if you wanna match our same coloring, you can pause the video. You ready to fast forward? Yeah. Austin, give me five. You did such a great job on coloring your pizza restaurant. I love how it turned out all colored in. I hope our art friends are gonna take time to color their drawings also. Now we added extra details too. We added a few little extra plants. Yeah. And I also added a kitchen chimney. I think that's what that is. And a sidewalk. <laughs> oh yeah, and a sidewalk. Now you guys can add even more stuff. You could draw a sky or even cars driving by. You could also draw people in your restaurant. Yeah. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing your pizza restaurant. Yeah, we do. We hope you had a lot of fun, and we hope you had fun learning what different lines are called. What's this line called? Going this way. Horizontal. Horizontal. Kind of like the sun when it's going, when it's setting behind the horizon line. Horizontal. And then up and down, what's that called? Vertical. Vertical. We love you guys, and we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye! Goodbye. I like that wave. That's new. <laughs> <laughs>